everybody, today I have this 2012 Ferraner Cascadia and the problem that I'm having with this Ferraner Cascadia is that it's having a lot of play on the chief lever over here. Uh, this problem affects many different trucks, um, but uh, the process that I'm going to show you on how to replace, how to fix this problem, um, it is going to be specifically for Flaner Cascadias only. So to start this process, we have to go all the way underneath here and uncover these bolts over here. These are T30 bolts. There are two on this side. There is one on this side. And there is another two on this side. So in total, there are six. I'm going to remove them all to leave the whole boot to get access to the bottom part of the chief lever. Once all the bolts are removed, we can leave this one with no problems. Um, and now we have access to the bottom part of the shift lever over here. So this area is where the bushing goes. That's where the problem is. So we have to take the whole thing apart. So first we're going to disconnect those hoses over there. And um, I have the two hoses disconnected. In this case, the hoses were stuck to the fitting. So I was not able to remove them. So I had to remove the whole fitting with the hose. But to remove this hose, all you have to do is to press this little silver part over here down and pull the hose to the opposite side, like this, as you can see, like the way I'm doing it, and then the fitting comes out. The same way with the other one, we push this one and pull the hose to the opposite side, and the fitting comes out. But over there, they were stuck, so if they're stuck, you just rotate the fitting around until it gets loose and then you are able to remove the hose so the next step is to get that ball off this ball is a e14 ball this one right here that well i'll show you the ball the uh the socket this is the e14 uh let's see the e14 and it looks like this so it goes like this and now it is just to remove it with an impact gun and that will be it so it falls somewhere over there I'll, I'll find it so after this all you have to do is pull this thing out and it will come out now we have the shift lever completely out and here we can see the bushing all messed up that's the play. So the next step is to grab the same E14 socket, put it over here and remove that ball that holds the bottom part of the chief lever. And once the ball is completely removed, we can easily remove this one with no problems. Sometimes it can get stuck. So you may use a hammer to hit it to release whatever rust then is collected there. In this case, it was not, but in some cases you have to. So now we have access to the bushing. But for this, as I said before, for this Cascadia is completely different because in this Cascadia, you cannot replace the bushing at all. In older models like Century Class, Columbia's Classics, in other uh, brands of trucks, you can replace the bushing. But in this case, you cannot replace the bushing because it is one piece together with the shift lever. So you have to buy the shift lever completely. And here I have the new lever completely. This is the part number right here. That's the part number. Uh, this part number is going to be for this specific Cascadia. Use your big number to get the specific part number for your Cascadia because it may vary depending on the uh, shape of the lever. In this case, it's a straight shape. That's the reason why, but in some other cases, may vary. So, because I'm going to be replacing this completely, I'm going to take advantage and replace these two, the boot, the insulator as well 
and this one as well this is the selector this is a 10 speed selector uh, so if your truck uses a different selector make sure to use your big number to get the right part I'm going to install the new fittings then I uh, remove from the transmission and um, we are ready to uh, get back on the work so what I'm going to do is to reinstall this part back on here so because this one doesn't have a specific size it, it doesn't matter because it's a straight see as you can see it doesn't have a specific size where it has to go it can go anywhere but if your ones is like in a different shape like a, in a curve or something you have to make sure how you gonna install it freeze because if you start the other direction you have to remove it again I'm going to install this piece right away so what I'm gonna do is place it over here this way and now I'm going to install the ball and now I'm going to tighten it so this one is completely tight now so the next step is to relocate this one over here we have to locate it like this straight in a straight position because it's got to be close to the driver like you can put it in a different way like this and it's still gonna work but it's better to put it in a straight position because it has the maximum clearance around so now it is time to put the ball and just tighten it and that's pretty much all about here but before doing that you can actually uh, install those uh, fittings over there because it's easy without the lever so, all right this one is already on place as you can see all the way tight all you have to make sure is whenever you are doing the shift doesn't hit any of the areas for example if you go to the last uh, area of the shift you can see then it gets closer to the dashboard so you have to make sure that there is clearance between that and if everything is all right you are ready to go so uh, this one is ready now it is time to remove these lines and remove the other pieces then we have to reuse so we have to remove the boot over here so this one to remove it we just pull it down and then we just like get it out completely like this see until it gets out see it's completely out so then the next one is to remove this one from here the same way we just pull it now we just like get it completely out and that will be all about this now we have the bare stick again so we have to remove this bolt over here this one and this one to remove the hoses we have access to the hoses as you can see and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna pull this one to the opposite side and then pull the hose down the same way we did with the other ones then we remove from that area or we have the hoses completely removed so now we can install the hoses over there now the two hoses are relocated in the same position as they were um, in this case this is a 10 speed transmission if you put the hoses backward it won't matter it will still work but if you have a 13 or a, a 15 or a 18 tra uh, speed transmission you have to make sure where the hoses go there I had to secure the, the hose line over here so it doesn't move around when the truck is uh, doing I mean when you're doing the shifting or the truck is on motion so the next step will be to install this this is the boot then go right here so I'm going to make its way all the way to the bottom boot is on position as you can see that's where it is going to go so the next step is to insert this aluminum plate then hold it uh, you have to remove it from the old one over there so now we have to just like insert it in there and once the plate is inserted in between as you can see this is the way it goes right here all I have to do is insert all the bolts over here and tie them that's what I'm gonna do right now okay uh, this is completely on place all the bolts are tied and secure so the next step will be to install this 
this is the cover that goes in between so you don't see the level completely so I'm gonna start it over here and then drop it all the way like this and now I'm going to push it to insert it over here it's pretty much to find its way it is kind of hard sometimes but all you have to do is like insert it like bend it a little so it goes all the way in and it is in as you can see it is completely in that this this is the way it's supposed to be it has to be completely aligned if this is in the other position you have to remove it and reinstall it again okay so everything here is completely done so now the next step is to install the shift lever freeze we have to remove this bottom part of the shift lever this one and install it over here because this way with this gap to the front and then insert this the same way we did with the bottom one and it's already installed as you can see it has to be completely aligned this is the way it gotta look like so next step is to grab the shifter install it over here this is the way you can calculate the distance see it doesn't go farther than this so all you have to do maybe is just rotate it back to the center or just rotate it a couple of turns in this case i'm gonna leave it here all you have to do is calculate how it's gonna look like in this case this driver wants it straight so we're gonna leave it straight and once we have it straight i'm going to grab the nut over here and take it all the way up so i can tie it this so we can secure the knob on place <laughs> all right this one is completely tight as you can see just be careful when you tighten it not to rotate the lever otherwise you can damage the bushing again so um, the last step will be to insert the hoses it has a number over here uh, uh, I'll call it um, a name for the hose the black hose and the red hose goes over here as you can see uh, that's where that's what it says there red hose so we just insert it like this that's all insert it all the way in and the same thing for this other one to so insert it all the way in the last process will be to insert this one all the way to the top like this and insert two bolts then go right here they're t 20 now the play is completely gone as you can see no play at all um the lever is new everything is new we have healed the old one this one is not reusable because the bushing cannot be replaced i don't know if you can replace it in some other ways but if you know how to replace it you can use the comment section below uh, so everybody else know how to replace it instead of buying the whole bar but this bar is not very expensive costs around 130 bucks so it is not that much money in total all these all the components i replaced is pretty much around 450 dollars on parts including this selector the boot the fittings and the whole bar so it's not bad now everything is new and this truck is ready to go so this is all you need to know on how to replace the shift um, gear the shift gear uh, lever on um, uh, Fragment Cascadia or other brands like Peter Blue Kangol and uh, international you can replace the bushing and that bushing costs around 25 dollars but the labor to repair to replace it is like kind of hard but the process to replace the bushing is similar the one i just did in, uh, the difference is then you have to remove the bushing from the bottom of this over here you have to remove the, the bushing from the bottom and this and then uh you can insert the new bushing but that's how everything works so uh if you have any questions about this video you can use the comment section below to leave uh, any questions, uh, comment. If you like to send some support to my channel, you can use the description section below where I have details how to send support to my channel so I can continue making helpful videos for everybody like this. 
So like, share, subscribe.